We have a wonderful show for you tonight. Uh, back in the country, back in the studio. Guy Sebastian! <laughs> Tonight. Placebo Michael Chamberlain, 15 seconds of fading flame, and Guy Sebastian. <laughs> Our first guest this evening, well, he became a household name when he won the first Australian Idol. He's since sold over half a million albums. His latest singer is called Taller, Stronger, Better. I wish I was, I was all three. <laughs> Show guy Sebastian. You got the thing, you got the you bling. Oh, look at that watch. That's pretty intense. That's insane. That's good. How are you? I'm doing very well. You look fine. Oh, thank you. Now, uh, under I'm the hat, I haven't... Like I haven't you... <laughs> right. can, you, can you really purr like a shovel? <laughs> now, you're a very good boy. I would suspect you've probably never really gotten into trouble for doing anything as a kid. Um, oh, I mean, I've, I've done a few things. I've done... Never set fire or re never ran over your dad in the car. Well, <laughs> no. no, no, nothing that extreme. Now, I haven't seen you face to face since you, you, since you did the chop. Yeah, I'm yeah, guessing under there, there's, the, the fro's gone, isn't it? Yeah, I know. I haven't had sort of short sides and back for a number of years. So it's, I've been in a bunch of different hairstyles. I had it shaved, clean shaved, and then I sort of just let it go and then became into the afro after a couple of years of just letting it go. And then had enough, you know, had to chop it. I, I sort of wanted to not have any gimmicks. You know, every time I'd read something, it'd be like the fro's back or the mm. fro's releasing something. Or I just kind of wanted people to just have the music, you know, and not, it not be about the fro. Which you haven't, and we, we, haven't, we haven't heard from you for a while. Everyone was, was starting to worry what had happened to you because you'd seemingly disappeared. Yeah, I kind of, uh, I went away and started making the third album and, and uh, sometimes it can be a really quick process and sometimes it's, you know, it, it, it takes forever and for me it, it took ages, you know, I've been writing for a couple of years now, probably about a year and a half. I went overseas, did the whole big, you know, trip. There's a, a few things that you usually do. They usually send you away and you'll write with all these amazing writers. And, and I went over, you know, to the US, to Europe, and, and I just had this writer's block. I, I just kind of, everything that happened to me over the last few years sort of hit me in one go and, and a bunch of things happened. You know, I arrived in, the day I arrived in LA, basically, I had a, a um, head-on collision. In oh, the really? Road. Yeah, I was driving and... Jim was backing out the car. <laughs> <That's no. laughs> Some eight year old kid. <laughs> so what, was it your fault? What did oh, you do? Totally. I, just, I, I was on a plane for 14 hours and then had to go straight to the studio and work till 2 in the morning and, and um, kind of just left, you know, so tired. And I was driving on the left. And I've driven, <laughs> I've, I've driven in LA so many times, but just this time I just went into automatic mode. And I, I hit this truck, like literally came around the corner, and I'm thinking, I'm so tired. If you're going to hit me, bash me, whatever, just do it and get over and done with <laughs> But the guy gets out of the car and he's like, Oh, don't worry, I saw it. I saw it, a coyote. I saw it. <laughs> and, I'm, and I'm like, I'm like, yes. I'm like, yeah. Yeah, I don't get those. I'm from Australia. It's an accent. We don't get coyotes yet. It was, that's why I swerved to the left one. <laughs> nice so I got job. out of it. It was great. Yeah. Got out of it. You just told everybody that's here. Right. That's all right. That dude's not watching. So when, when you get writer's block, it must be a very frustrating thing to not be able to work through. Yeah, it is. I mean, uh, I guess it's a mentality in your head where it just gets worse and worse. Like, uh, especially because... You know, I went through some personal things as well, and, and, and I just couldn't find the inspiration to write. I was almost attacking the third album as in, all right, it's time to make a third album, let's write, let's do a third album. And, and then so I wrote for about a year and ended up throwing away all the songs, and then I got back sort of um, in, into Australia, and, and then something just flipped, something changed. I started jamming, and I started writing out of just writing because I wanted to express stuff, you know, stuff I'd been through and, and, um, and that, my album came in like two months, you know, and so I guess... Well, during that time when you're not getting anything though, do you, do you start to have doubts in your head that yeah, it's ever going to come back at all? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, for a while I, I, I went into a, a bit of a depressed mode where, where I kind of, um, I thought this is it, you know, and then you start listening to people and, and they're saying negative stuff to you and, and I don't know, it's just a trip, it's weird, like I, I wasn't prepared for that yet, you know, and, and I guess this whole idol thing and then 
after Idol, it's just been a real journey to kind of, you know, get, it, get my head around my new life. And so I'm finally kind of there, and, and I guess that's where the song Taller, Stronger, Better came out of as well. Have you, have you watched uh, any of the, the, the current series of Idol that we've got on? Have yeah, you, Have absolutely. you picked anybody? Do you like what you see? Yeah, I mean, there's, there's the obvious favourites, you know. De Dean's a real ladies um, sort of guy. They, they love him, and, and um, I really like Bobby, you know. Not he, just, he's... He's weird, weird, but he's cool. <laughs> understand Bobby just yet. Yeah, I, I like him. I, I think just because he's different and, he, and he's... Yeah, I don't, I don't get him, but I like that I don't get him. <laughs> uh, and, I, and I like the big jaw and the, the hair. It's cool. Now, I heard that with Taller, Stronger, Better, that this, the inspiration to get out of your writer's block came from drive through a McDonald's. How does that happen? <laughs> uh, it, was, it, it really was a turning point, this song, writing this song. Um, it was kind of reflective, you know, the title and everything. It, it's all about going through something which a lot of people do you know whatever circumstance it is sometimes you think you're never going to get out of it and and um you know i just went around i was doing a tv show on another network which i won't mention and um and it, you know oh, it was we, that awful singing one that's right yeah. that's correct <laughs> oh, no, that's all right. <laughs> and um and so it was after one of those episodes i just went around to a friend's house and and we started writing and, and this song came really quickly we finished at about 3 a.m and celebrated and had a, ha had a happy meal because we we're all happy <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. Oh, That's good. Right. Now, you're uh, nominated uh, this year at the Nickelodeon Kids' Choice Awards for, like, Best Aussie Person Ever. Oh, that's... That's Isn't it something like that? There's a category. Have you noticed? Have you seen that? Yeah, yeah, favourite Aussie. Favourite yeah, Aussie, yeah, that's a huge thrill. It is. Have, you, a... have you been to the awards before? I've been slimed at the Nickelodeons before. <laughs> I got slimed the same year you were there as well. It's very exciting. Mm, yeah, it's, it's... Now, here you're working on your burping as well. I have been, yeah. I mean, I, I was a bit disappointed last night. I sort of worked at... Because I'm a bell chuck and I go all right in the mm. belching category. <laughs> and, and, you know, growing up having mum's curries and, and you know... Bit of curry and coke, you can't go wrong. <laughs> well, I was, because uh, last time I, I had a, a, a burp off with a guest was Elmo, and I've never had a three and a half year old furry monster say to me, Oh, you burp cute. So, <laughs> so I was thinking, I'd like to redeem myself with you if we, oh, okay. if we use. Because I, I needed fluid, guy, yes. was the problem. So you can get a bit of gas right. and a good swallow, and we'll see how we go. Okay. I'll go first if you won't mind. Oh, you go can. For it. No, 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 you're right. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh. All right, ready. Oh, this is going to be rank. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.